All right, so let me start off the video by saying that I've never ever made a video on this family before, the Ace family that is, um, but I have been on the sideline for quite a while watching videos, reading articles, seeing tweets about the Ace family being canceled like a hundred times a year. Like honestly, how many times are you guys gonna cancel this family without getting the job done? Anyway, I know that this is a very controversial YouTube family channel um they're always in a lot of drama i've heard many different stories about them being inappropriate with their children i've heard that they've scammed their fan base before now these are just allegations that i don't have definitive proof on but a lot of youtubers have made videos on these, these situations and the evidence seems to be compelling. However, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about something that happened recently. Uh, in fact, I believe at the time of this recording, it actually happened today, July 20th. It says here, Ace Family are canceled after Austin McBroom spanks his child in a video. Yeah, and that's what I saw on Twitter just now. And the original uploader who uploaded the video first said this in their caption, this is so disturbing and the way his daughter put her hand in front of his to stop him from doing it again is heartbreaking Deplatform the ace family and throw austin and katherine mcbroom in jail now i'll be working out too my shit getting fat my shit getting fat yeah lights oh god i can't all i gotta say austin you got just started working out by the way can you guys tell can you guys tell I, you can now I'm gonna be honest, there's no way that you can defend this video. This is actually fucking weird as hell. Um, I, why? <laughs> like, just the whole... Listen, I've seen a lot of parents do a lot of weird things with their children, and they don't mean anything by it, but that doesn't justify them doing those particular things. And yeah, I guess there are cultural differences, but um, to my knowledge, Austin is American. We pretty much have the same view on, you know, the dynamic between a parents and their children here in this culture, and I don't think what he did was n normal by any means of, of, of the imagination. However... Uh, let me play the devil's advocate here. He's talking about his ass getting fat. And then he does. Why would you? <sighs> I'm not going to even try to defend it. I'm sorry. Why is he smacking his little daughter's ass? I have no idea. I'm not going to come out and label him as a pedophile because I don't know this man personally. However, I've seen videos. I've read articles. I've heard stories. For now, this is just an allegation. And yeah, it's fucking weird. It says here, popular YouTube family channel, the Ace family is coming under fire after a video surfaced that showed patriarch Austin McBroom spanking his four-year-old daughter while making inappropriate comments. And I guess it's safe to assume that this video probably didn't happen recently, but it was like an old video that just resurfaced. It probably even happened last year. Who knows? In late June, a video surfaced online that showed Payaz and McBroom sitting on a sofa with their two daughters seemingly prior to the birth of Steel. In the video, McBroom discusses how he's been working out and slap his derere as if to showcase his gains. What, I don't know what that means, derere, is that? And here in this photo, yeah, we can see a family photo with um, Austin in the front, obviously, their two daughters in the back. This obviously happened when she was pregnant before she had uh, Steel. Now, in going back to my thoughts on the video, um, I, I just, I understand that there are a lot of fathers out there who have good intentions when it comes to their daughters, um, you know. There are just a lot of, like I've even seen parents like kiss their children on like the lips and shit. And it's definitely weird, but they they mean nothing by it. It's like cultural differences. I've personally, probably the last time I had lip to lip contact with my mom was when I was like four or five years old. At that age, it's pretty normal though. However, um, as you, you get older, you stop doing that stuff because it just gets weird. And you know, kids grow up and they want boundaries. Uh, some parents, however, don't follow those boundaries even in, when they become teenagers. Another person said, I don't care if you support the Ace family or whatever, but can you explain why Austin slapped his little girl's butt and saying, oh God, after? Listen, it's weird. I'm gonna be honest, it's weird, especially the way he said, oh God. I, 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 oh God. I can understand that in his mind, this may have been nothing and that this is like normal behavior. I'm not gonna act like I know that he had malicious intent, but it's weird. Like, 
It is. And then we have another post. Uh, someone came out and actually defended him in a way, uh, saying, wait, I'm so confused. I thought every family did this. I live in a Mexican family, and it's pretty common to see a parent or older family member spanking the kids playfully, though it does get a little weird as the kids grow older. Yeah, I made that point earlier in the video. Um, cultural differences. Who knows? Austin probably comes from a family where that is normal. Did you know that in France, family members actually get naked in front of each other? Like not literally get in front of each other and take their clothes off, but like they don't have a problem with like if a mom is taking a shower um, and a son walks in to like use the toilet or whatever, that's not an issue. Nudity in certain cultures, like in the French culture, is not a problem. However, if we were to do that here in America, in a, in a more westernized country, like that would just be like, dude, come on. That would just be weird. Like at that point, um, a lot of people would assume that you're getting it in with your mom or some shit, you know, like these are very taboo topics here in America. But then someone responded back by saying just because it's normalized doesn't mean it should be normal. And basically what they're trying to say is that uh, just because you do it and it's a part of your culture doesn't mean it's it's right. I, I'm going to have to disagree with that because we all perceive things differently. We all have cultural differences. Who's to say what culture is better or does things right? I mean, it's all perception at the end of the day. Someone else came out and said a disturbing yes, but this isn't enough to throw anyone in jail for. There was a clip of him giving his daughter a penis shaped candy. What? In a shop. So maybe a combination of evidence would warrant an end. OK that makes sense in that particular context if he does have a history of being highly inappropriate with his daughter then yeah i mean fuck, i can understand why people would react to this video in that in this manner like they'd be freaking out because i already i guess people already know that the ace family is kind of freaky like they're just weirdos and um to see them well to see the father act like this with his his little girl uh, what is she like five four right now very uh weird Someone said he has talked about how sexy Catherine is to Ellen Halloween costumes. I thought that was weird. Add that to this and then him buying a kid a dick sucker. Yeah, something is weird here. See, so as we start to go back in his past and piece together situation by situation and create a larger narrative and a larger context, um, we start to notice patterns. We start to notice particular types of behaviors. I guess in this situation, it's not like this video just came out of nowhere and, you know, there's nothing else to give it context. There's other like similar incidents of him being inappropriate with his little daughter. And I guess in that way, it, it kind of justifies the public outrage for this, this video. She literally pushed her father's hand off of her, these poor babies. OMG, that's literally so disgusting. This is revolting, disturbing, and disgusting. It says here, this is far from the first time McBroom has come under fire for similar allegations. The YouTuber was also a subject of scrutiny in early 2019 after he bought L, an adult themed lollipop at a Spencer outlet. All right, so I couldn't find the video on Twitter and it seems to be like deleted on a lot of different social media platforms, but I did manage to find a, a video with less than like about 50,000 views on YouTube showcasing what happened. And uh, here it is. What'd you say? What are you trying to get to? You love what? Oh God. You don't need that. Come Show Catherine what you have in your hand. Show Catherine. Show her. She says a lollipop. <laughs> now, this kind of behavior is completely disgusting. He knows what this is. His, what is this? She's four or five year old daughter does not know that this is a like, you know, I can't say it in this video. And then she proceeds to go about licking it, like making the action of like licking it. He knows that this is up. Um, I can't justify this at all. Maybe he's just sick in the head. Maybe he just has a twisted form of humor. Who knows? I'm sorry, dude. At this point in time, dude, you're a dickhead. No pun intended. You're a grown ass man and you have a five year old daughter. Act accordingly, dude. There's no way that any father should be acting like this around his his little girl. She says it's a lollipop. <laughs> Are you really making me buy this lollipop right now? You really want it? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Please, bro, put that in a bag right now. Keep that in the bag forever. Do not show that to anybody, okay? okay. That's your little secret.
You know, I just find it weird how when he was checking out in the, uh, you know, next to the cashier, how the cashier was laughing at the whole situation when he was, he was clearly buying it for his little girl. Like, bro, if I, if that were me, right? And I, he came up to me with his daughter, you know, and they were trying to buy a, a dick lollipop for her. I would be looking at him like, dude, what the f I, I probably wouldn't say anything. I don't know. But I'd just be like, huh? What What's happening here? You know, there's some weirdo ass parents out there. And I'm gonna be completely honest, Austin, <laughs> you're definitely one of them. You know, back then, uh, around October 2019, when this happened, someone tweeted out saying the fact that the Ace family took a baby girl into a sex shop and bought her a penis lollipop and y'all still supported them after that? Y'all just as sick as them. And she spot on, like they still get millions of views, hundreds of thousands of likes and people still love them because people are delusional. A lot of people here on YouTube, unfortunately, are sheep. Like, I swear to God, if I ever fuck up on anything, I need you guys to hold me accountable. Tell me I'm, I'm messing up so I don't repeat those same mistakes. Call me out. Don't act like one of those bot ass, low vibration sheep that won't tell me anything wrong because I don't know, you idolize me. Nah, I want you to be honest with me. If I mess up, tell me I messed up. All I'm saying is just be, you know, free thinking, have a mind for yourself. Think about the situation, try to be objective. Don't lose your morals when it comes to certain people because you idolize them. Don't do that. Stop treating these uh, YouTubers like they're gods. They're not, they're, they're really not. They, trust me, a lot of them are, you wouldn't, if you knew, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to even get into it. I'll save that for another time. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on this whole situation about the Ace family. Uh, I expressed my opinion. You pretty much know how I feel. Um, I, I'm not going to come out and call the guy a, a pedo for this situation, but, um, shit, this is like totally inappropriate. It's this kind of behavior is usually a precursor to fathers being super inappropriate with their daughters when they become of age. We all know how this usually goes, but hopefully that's not the case for Austin. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Like the video to support. Uh, a lot of my videos have been getting demonetized lately, but if you want to support me, just go follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.